Hey there, today we're gonna to talk about money. Yep, that's right, we're gonna talk about money today. One of the things I find is that we have this thing called a money ceiling. We're gonna talk about some of those things that can break that money ceiling today. I am Tanya Wilson Cherry, growth strategist, business coach and mentor to women service-based business owners just like yourself. I'm also the founder of 3D Success Academy where we're founded on three core pillars your destiny, your dollars, and your disciplines. One of our tracks inside 3D Success Academy is actually the prosperity portal. So I enjoy talking about money. Money is sometimes an uncomfortable subject for people. And it just depends on how they've been taught to think about money or be deserving of money. But anyway, today I'm gonna give you five things that may be blocking money from coming into your life. Number one, the first thing that may be blocking money from coming into your life, your business, is low expectations. Guys, if we aren't expecting great things to happen and occur in our life, we never get in alignment with it. We never get on the vibration that says, hey, I'm ready to receive something greater. You know, normally I hear people praying for some of the small things and God really wants to bless us in abundance. So praying for the light bill or the rent this month, I'm not saying that may not be some people's situation, but what if we took time to have expectation for something much greater? Imagine if the thing that's even greater than all of the things that you need like right now instantly, imagine if that greater thing were to occur, it would take care of all of the small things and put you in a space of abundance. So three principles that I teach from in my coaching, training, one-on-ones, VIP days, masterminds, and 3D Success Academy is abundance mindset, which we're talking about now shifting into that space, personal growth. You got to grow into the person who can actually receive what it is that you know your heart desires. And then of course, some amazing results-driven business building strategies. Now, number two, because today we're talking about money and some of the things that may be blocking you from getting the money that you actually deserve. Number two, your environment. Now, this one, guys, is kind of heavy because I can remember a time in my life when I was in a toxic relationship. So everything was overwhelming, frustrated, unorganized. For as much as I tried to get it organized, it seemed like it would get unorganized again immediately, right? So your environment can show signs of uh, a lack in, in your life. It can just show up loose change around the house, receipts everywhere, um, just things haphazardly placed anywhere, lack of organization. Organization is one of the things, it's a quality of obtaining wealth because you gotta be organized. It means systems, it means um, being able to account for different things, put things into perspective, making things easier to find so that you can spend your time on profit producing things. And sometimes our environment has clues of lack showing up in our life. So take a moment, is there a closet that you wanna clean out, your car, things of that nature. Get in the habit of being organized in the small things, and then you become ruler over much. The third thing that may be keeping money out of your life is thinking that you don't deserve it. Now, a lot of our thoughts around money are generated from when we were a child. So if we grew up in lack, or if we later became adults and entered into a space of lack, which was my story. So I don't re remember experiencing any form of lack uh, as money was related as a child, but I did experience it in my adult life. And it took me time to retrain my brain to what I knew I desired. So there were conversations and people around me who would say things like, you think too much, you want too much, you think too big. When in actuality, I was just thinking about what the space was that I originally came from, which was not a space of lack, which is not our birthright, right? So oftentimes when we're around people who aren't in agreement with abundance, we'll hear words, we'll get situations where, you know, maybe people aren't generous in the home with food or different items. And guys, I get it. Sometimes it's because there's, you know, um, poor thinking or poverty maybe somewhere in the area or lack. But the thoughts that happen during those times are critical. 
right? So it's the thinking. That's what moves us into greater spaces of wealth because it goes back to one of the first things I shared. Our thinking will increase our expectation and that will increase our actions. The thinking that you don't deserve it will definitely keep money out of your life. Thinking you don't deserve it will definitely keep money opportunities out of your life. You'll see opportunities and because you don't think you deserve it, you won't take the opportunities. Number four, not being specific. Now, indecisiveness is not a quality of wealth or leadership. A leader should be able to make decisions quickly. Doesn't mean that you, you don't make calculated decisions, but the ability to make decisions quickly, because if we're indecisive, a confused mind will do absolutely nothing. So if money isn't showing up in your life the way you desire, your ability to make decisions could be impacting that. And last but not least, least is, Last but not least is negative beliefs about money. I want you to take a moment and write down all of the thoughts and things that you heard about money as a child or you know, at this stage in your life. Actually write down what you think about money. What comes up for you when you hear someone talking about money? What are some of the first thoughts? If you see an opportunity where there's an investment, what are you thinking during those times? Take a moment to write those things down. These are my tips for you today. Five things that could be blocking you from your money, keeping you at this specific money ceiling that you're at. If you'd love to deep dive on this, we do um, impactful exercises inside 3D Success Academy for women in business. Be sure, check the comments below for a link to join. If you're on YouTube, be sure to hit subscribe. If you're on another social media platform, hit like and get notifications so that you can stay connected. I'm Tanya Wilson-Cherry, your growth strategist, business coach, and mentor.